How you doing, folks? Thanks for tuning in to GoRacingTV.com. We're here today at the Steeder Autosports Campus. Today we're going to go over the TrackMate and the upgrade from the TrackMate, the innovative motorsports option, and we're going to go over both those things today, and uh, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned. We're coming right back at you. MK Technologies is the recognized leader in the race support equipment field, and their ever-expanding line of advanced chassis alignment products has reached markets around the world. MK Technologies makes a vast array of chassis setup products for all types of cars, from stock cars to open wheel to touring cars. Their product line includes everything from tow camber boards to parallel string alignment systems to scale platforms, just to name a few. To see the full line of MK Technology products, check them out on the GoRacingTV.com website. All right, folks, so we're here today at the Steeda Autosports Campus. And uh, what we're going to do today is basically install a TrackMate system into Chip Van Versa's uh, Spec Miata here. Okay. Uh, we've uh, done some pre-installation and we've already hardwired the system into a uh, power source on the car. Basically TrackMate uh, has only pretty much three connections. It's pretty easy to install. You're going to do a hardwire, positive, negative um, power source into the unit. Then you're going to have another connection on the main unit here that is going to go to a GPS antenna, magnetic mount, boom, just pop it on your trunk, you're ready to go. And then the third connection is the um, wire that comes up to the display unit that we've actually mounted here uh, right over the uh, steering wheel. And we just Velcroed that on. Okay, so that's going to uh, be the the sensor or basically the display that's going to show you um, all the information you're going to want to know as to lap times so on and so predictive lap timing so on and so forth great tool we're going to go into that further uh, down the line here um, we're doing an upgraded unit here uh, with chips car where we're going to install a um, air fuel sensor okay basically it we're going to put this into the exhaust uh, downpipe. We've welded a bung in there that accepts the uh, wide, band, wide band sensor. This connects into the Innovate Motorsports module. Now this module is an add-on to the TrackMate system and you'd get this from Innovate Motorsports. Uh, and it basically wires directly into the expansion module the TrackMate cells that uh, allows you to plug in several different types of inputs from other sensors. So we're going to hardwire this into that unit, therefore the TrackMate system can record data, so on and so forth, and we're basically doing this uh, for our air fuel mixture, uh, we can read that and that's going to tell us some real good stuff that we're going to get into further uh, with Glenn. Glenn is going to be with us in a minute um, and kind of explain the system in full. So that's kind of how you uh, install the system. Pretty straightforward, one, two, three, uh, easy to install and just that easy to use. GoRacingTV.com is proud to present the Track Video Contest. Send us your best clips, you just might win. It's simple, the contest will have two categories, Track Bloopers and Move of the Month. In the Track Bloopers category, contestants can submit video clips of their mishaps and mistakes. In the Move of the Month category, contestants can submit video clips of something they did on the track that was impressive, a great pass, an avoidance and maneuver, etc. The GoRacingTV.com staff will review all submissions and will choose the top five for each category. These five will be placed on the GoRacingTV.com website for everyone to view. The winners will be determined by you, the viewers. Viewers will be able to vote for their favorite clips on the GoRacingTV.com forum. A new winner will be picked monthly. Winners will receive a grand prize from one of our featured product sponsors. So start searching those hard drives for those interesting video clips. Send them in. You just may be this month's winner. All right, folks. So you just saw us do with the install of the TrackMate system in the Chips car. Easy installation, just that easy to use. It's so easy, Tucker can use it. <laughs> actually, both of us use it quite often at the track to learn from each other. Um, and today we're actually upgrading our systems, both of us in our cars, to learn more about O2s, and we're going to have a Y-band system we're both upgrading to, and Glenn's here to explain it, how it all works. Glenn from TrackMate. Okay, what we're going to do today is hook up this air-fuel mixture reading onto the TrackMate. 
This is a downpipe off the car. This is the stock O2 sensor here. We've welded an additional bung in so we can put this additional O2 sensor in. And what that does, it goes to the Innovative Motorsports LC1 Lambda sensor, they call it, and it puts out an electronic signal that we can read with a track mate, and that'll tell us the air fuel mixture. Now, why that's important is because you might change something on your car. Maybe you put in a different air intake, and it changes the air fuel mixture in your car. You're getting more air in, so it's going to change the mix. To get the most power, you have to have the optimal air fuel mixture. So we're going to put that into the track mate, and it's going to go into this sensor unit device here. It's got the GPS and the accelerometers and all the other stuff. And then it's going to go all the way over there to the display unit. And that's going to record all the way around the track. So you're going to do your laps, and the track mate will record your speed, your G-forces, your RPM. But it's also going to record the air fuel mixture. So you basically get a dyno run every time you go around the track. You can even read the air fuel mixture out on the display as you go around the track. Yeah, and that display unit is really cool because it actually has a predictive lap timer in it. So you sit it right there on your dashboard. You're during qualifying. You want to see if you're doing a good hot lap, what your lap was compared to your last lap, so on and so forth. Great tool. And this whole system all gets down, downloaded onto your laptop. And when you get out of the vehicle, you can then learn everything that this we input into it, from the air fuel to your fastest lap, your predictive lap, and Glenn will go back over that in the next segment. Glenn? It sure is. It's uh, definitely data made easy. All right, folks. So now we're actually going to go over the data uh, aspect of the TrackMate system, and Glenn is going to run us through that. OK, we're going to look at the TrackView program. And what you remember we did, we installed the TrackMate and the Innovate LC1 air fuel meter in the car. And we've taken it to the track and recorded a bunch of data. And all that data gets recorded in the TrackMate display unit. So you can take that out of the car. We plug that into the USB port on our laptop. And we've uploaded that. And we're going to use our track view program to go over and instead of actually evaluating what the driver's doing, today we're actually evaluating what the car is doing to see if we're getting the optimal air fuel mixture. Yeah, and the, the software as a whole is a fantastic tool because, as they say, you get to replay your day. So you download your data, get to see what you did, and it's a tremendous learning tool. So what we've got here, if you look at the screen, upper in the, in the upper left-hand corner, we've got what we call the dashboard. And that's got the uh, speedometer here, and that shows you how fast you're going and shows you the G-forces. Then in the upper right-hand corner, we actually have a track map. And this is Heartland Park. This is data that was recorded at the SCCA runoffs. Cool. And you can see the little dot, and that's it, the car going around the track. And all of that is synchronized with these, these graphs here. And what they are is the top graph is your speed as you go around the track. Right. So you can see brake zones where you take speed off and straightaways where you accelerate. Mm -hmm. This is your RPM, so you can see like a shift right there and another shift as you go down the back straight. Okay. And you can see when you shift, this is the air fuel mixture. And what we've done is we've drawn a red line here at the optimal air fuel. Right. And whenever you shift, of course, it get, goes really rich, so it spikes get that up. spike in there, yeah. So what we're looking for is we're trying to make sure that the air fuel is right on the line without going over it. Because if it goes over, it goes lean, and that would be bad. Right. And then this is the horsepower. The track mate can actually use the accelerometers and calculate the horsepower as you're going around. So it's almost like a, a dyno sheet right there where you're getting your horsepower and your air fuel mixture. It's a, a great tuning tool. Absolutely. If you pick the right spot on the track, like the back straight here, right. then it's just like having a dyno run. So let's take a look at that. So right here on this back straight, this is a nice flat straight area. So you can see we're constantly accelerating up here through the shifts. Right. So as you can see, the air fuel is just about right here. It gets to 13.37. We want it to be about 13.7, and you can see that's right where it's making the maximum horsepower. So we've tuned this car, and it's just right. Great. So this is a perfect uh, tuning tool. Um, get to replay all your, your data. Fantastic uh, piece of software. We try to make it easy. Great. Stop the madness of paying way too much for motors in Spec Miata. The answer to the problem is here. SpecMiataEngines.com. We sell SCCA, NASA, and EMRA, SM, and SSM legal race engines. 
We sell quality racing engines built by Rossini Racing Products. If you are looking for race-proven, reliable power, look no further. Visit our website, specmiataengines.com, or see our link on goracingtv.com.